What was said at half time? Simple question. I'm just to stick together. Um, obviously, arriving at half time in a difficult moment, being 2 0 down off, off the back of what happened at the weekend as well. But I said to the, to the players before and, and at half time that the most important thing is that we act as a team. We're together in every single moment. And um, I thought the second half we were outstanding. We could, we could have had many more goals. Um, tinge of disappointment at the end walking off 2-2 but obviously at half time I, I think we would have took the reaction and the performance in the second half and, and, and end up with a draw. And Bill from there I saw you literally slapping the ground at times you you're very emotionally invested in it. No of course of course that's 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 part of being involved in football I want my players to, to feel passion and, and feel that desire. I thought in the first half they obviously caused us a lot of pro problems and they were they were very clinical but at the same time we always felt like we was in the game and we, we created many chances as well and it was just about trying to get that goal to go in and in the second half we had two or three moments where it just it almost felt like it wasn't going to happen but the players kept going they stuck together and i thought we fully deserved a, a result in the end now for me i was in congratulations on the point maybe disappointed you didn't you didn't win but at half time do you think it was more uh, you telling them about the mentality or was there any tactical tweaks that you was trying to tell them to do compared to united or was it just a mentality of lads we've got to get something out of this yeah, there was some tactical tweaks. Mm. Obviously, we, we we made we made a lot of mistakes defensively mm. in the first half. Um, we needed to protect inside a lot more, and Bruno Fernandez was causing us a mm. lot of problems in that pocket. And we spoke about trying to be a little bit more front foot and aggressive with one of our defenders and, and sort of creating a back four so we can engage them higher up the pitch. And um, and like I said, I thought the second half we played pretty much the whole half, apart from the last five or so minutes. In, in their half, sorry. So um, it's not. I was very, very pleased with the reaction. Um, like I say, it's, it's difficult when you you have a performance and result like we did at the weekend mm -hmm. to go in at half time two 0 as well. I, I think m maybe some other other players would have shrunk, but but we stood up to it. We stuck together and um, we showed we were a team. Yeah. Danny, um, obviously congratulations and well done on uh, you know the, the second half in particular, Ryan. But for me, I know you're, you're used to you know taking charge of the club because um, you've done it you know um, you know in the past. But obviously you know being at the club a long time, so you know you know everything about the football club, and obviously they're not used to conceding and you know playing in the manner in which they did at the weekend. Has it been difficult you know preparing the lads and you know just lifting the spirits ahead of uh, today's game? I think I think naturally we've we've played the game and when you have a, a result like you did at the weekend, I think some of that takes care of itself in terms of being hurt as a player mm. and wanting to react. Um, but from my point of view, I think my, my biggest job was was to make the players feel together. Um, listen, I care for this club and you, you've played here, Dan. You, you know what it's like when when the times are good here and, and when there's alignment and everyone feels like they're on this journey together. And um, when our fans can see a team that that want to work for each other and fight for each other and perform like we did in the second half, then I feel like it, it creates a better energy and hopefully going forward, you know, that's that's something I can create and um, we can move forward with that. Yeah. Listen, you've clearly got an unbelievable relationship with the players from being a coach here and now being a manager as well a couple of times. I know Dan's just actually take us inside the training ground this week. I mean, it must have been really hard to lift those players. What was it? Was it tactical? Was it walking through formations? Was it get the smiles back on the faces, a bit of five aside? The, the, the relationship you've got with the players, you've, you've obviously got something there. What was it that brought it out? I think togetherness yeah. um, is the most important thing. Listen, we, we made many tactical mistakes today. Many, many tactical mistakes. Mm. But sometimes in football, when you when you play with, with passion and desire and the instinct to, to act in that moment, sometimes in this stadium when when it's intense like it is, you, you force, force mistakes. And um, I thought we did that. And, and the most pleasing thing for me is that we just kept believing, um, especially after, like we say, the, the result we had Sunday. Um, naturally, I think for me, I've got good relationships with everyone in the training ground. So that was quite an easy, easy win. But ultimately, you judged on the football pitch. And um, I feel like hopefully that will give our players a bit of confidence going into the next five games to know that, that we're a team and we're together. Uh, I think Sam was feeling a bit overwhelmed. There's three Spurs players are here <laughs> and just one person here from the other side. So thank you very much for the time. Good luck this weekend against Liverpool and have a tough game. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well done, man. Cheers. Well done, yeah. All the best, Ryan. Right. Mate, great result. Well done. Awesome. Uh, I think you're down that way now. OK. He feels ready. He said that. He said that in his press conference. He feels ready to become the main man at a club. Speaks well, uh, doesn't he? He uh, speaks I think, very well. I think you're being beckoned away, Robbo. Am I Sorry. Done? Sorry, I, well, I... It's been a pleasure, as always. 
but I was very impressed with him. I think he speaks very, very well. Yeah, he and he's, I, he's done a great audition for the job. I agree. Thank you very much for your time, Robert, as always.